This episode begins with the story of Cinderella. Two villainous sisters ride in a carriage to the ball, Cinderella is left to watch the house. Are we tuning the wrong channel? No, no, this is still the filming site of Doriman. A dazzling light flashed in the sky, the little witch Shizuka appeared. She picked up her wand, chanted a spell, and immediately put on a beautiful princess dress for Cinderella and made a pumpkin carriage. After helping Cinderella, the little witch Shizuka flew away on her broom. What a beautiful fantasy. It turns out that Shizuka can also daydream. Of course Nobita will fulfill all Shizuka's wishes. What about daydreaming, I'm here to help you make it happen. Nobita ran home to find Doriman and asked him to help Shizuka. But Doriman is a robot from the future, not a magic cat. Doriman think about it, if there is no magic, then use props instead. They called Shizuka and asked what props she wanted. Shizuka said she wanted a flying broom. Doriman asked her if the bamboo dragonfly was okay. Shizuka said no, the bamboo dragonfly doesn't feel like a magical girl. Doriman had no choice but to take out a magical item, a hypnotic horn. It is said that this prop can hypnotize inanimate objects. He took the trumpet and said to the broom, You are a flying broom, fly quickly. This broom actually jumped up and flew away. Since the broom just flew away, Shizuka had to ride on the Nobita's broom. But this dress is not pretty enough, not like a witch. Doriman took out his dressing camera again and took a picture of Shizuka. Shizuka instantly turned into a little witch. So how does Shizuka know who needs help? She can also wear a save me hat. This is a little radar that can indicate in real time who needs help. Now that the equipment is complete, Shizuka can finally start. The first person who needed help turned out to be Nobita's mother. Her broom is missing. But this broom has now become Shizuka's flying prop. Shizuka borrowed a hypnotic speaker from Doriman and said to the baseball bat. You are the broom now. This baseball bat actually started sweeping the floor. Shizuka feels that it is troublesome to borrow props from Doriman all the time. Doriman lent his dimensional pocket to Shizuka. Wow this is the strongest prop in the whole anime. Shizuka is now the strongest magical girl in this anime. Shizuka was flying in the sky and suddenly landed. Because she thinks it hurts under her to ride this broom. Is this the price of being a magical girl? Shizuka finally found a crying little girl. Little girl can't attend friend's birthday party because her mother washed her beautiful dress. Shizuka took out her dress up camera and helped her put on a pretty little dress. And then used any door to send the little girl to a friend's house. That's how it's solved. After that, Shizuka felt that someone needed help again. She flew over and saw that it was Big G and Sunio. Their plane hangs in the tree. Shizuka used props to help them take it down. Watching Shizuka fly away on a broom, Big G and Sunio were stunned. They've never seen Shizuka look like this. Shizuka had a busy day and helped many people, and she didn't come back until it was dark. She is very proficient in using Doriman's props, and she has no mistakes. This aspect is much stronger than Nobita. But that night, Shizuka was locked out by her mother because she came home too late. This is also the price of being a witch. 